Oh, hey there, people. It's Monday afternoon. I'm going to pick up Jules. We got to take a run over to the cigarette place, get more cigarettes, because I'm on my last pack, and she ran out too, because uh, she was giving cigarettes out to her friend there, Gidget, and she realized last night she has one pack left, which she's on right now, same as me. Wow! So, gonna go scoop her up, and then we're gonna head off to uh, to the reserve and get some cigarettes. And yeah, I don't know what we're gonna do the rest of the day. I gotta work at four till midnight all week. Well, not really all week. I worked till Thursday. And then uh, we started our vacation time, which is awesome. So, better get out there. I'm gonna take the G6 because Jules wants a coffee and while well, the Trans Am's lacking in cup holders. So I'm gonna take the Super 6, the gas gurgler, Captain No Fuel Economy. And then after I drop off Jules back at her office, I'm gonna go to Crappy Tire and I'm gonna scoop up some, uh, some air filter for the G6. So, should be pretty awesome. Let's get this day started and welcome to my vlog. Alrighty guys, let's get the hell out of here. Gotta go over to the Hortons first. Ooh, exhaust leaks are fun. This shit off the chair, charger for the mirror. Oh, I need to clean up this car. All right, first thing we gotta do, go to the Hortons. I promised Jules I'd get her uh, a tea and I really want a coffee. Oh boy, so friggin' Miley Cyrus, eh? Holy shit. That chick is gonna be the top of the tabloids for a while now. I don't know if you saw her latest, I can't remember what the hell her, the name of her latest song is. Uh, Rex's daughter showed me the song and like I'm watching the music video and I'm like, holy shit, she's trying to be like pink. That's what I said. Rex said, no, she's just trying to be a skank. But like the facial expressions she's making kind of reminds me of like, like how pink is, you know? Like she'll make these like, like these these grunty friggin faces but one thing I, I wouldn't see pink do is just the right nasty shit that Miley does like Miley's getting a little bit out of hand here people so yeah I, I, I don't know about that I, I don't know how I feel about that like this is a, a, a friggin I, I don't know if she's Disney or what but, you know, she used to play the role of Hannah Montana, friggin' role model for children. Kids look up to, looked up to her. And then all of a sudden she goes this way here, gets all friggin', like, crazy sexual on the VMA Awards. You know, she's pretty, she's up there friggin' pelvic thrusting, wearing nothing but, like, like nothing pretty much. Friggin', I'm surprised they didn't just cut the award ceremony short and say, yeah, you're done. We, we, we can't have this. But they didn't. Oh, friggin', unbelievable these, these young pop stars nowadays though I, I i don't get it i honestly don't get it like you had britney spears who was all wholesome and and all that when she first started off and then she went skank drive overlord and people are like well it's because of these young pop stars you know like this is how they are and things and well fucking car still making that sound you hear that coming from that side over there i don't give a shit fuck it i'll drive this thing till she wrecks but anyway, you know, uh, like you got like, I remember when Britney Spears first started off, she was all sweet and wholesome, you know. She had that one song, uh, uh, Hit Me Baby One More Time, which was eh, kind of bad, you know. And then she had a couple other songs that were kind of nice and they're pretty mellow and stuff. All the, all the ones that made it to the MTV charts, like, so it's just kind of hit and miss. And then she came out with her second album and it was like, okay, now this is getting kind of nasty. So you gotta make, you gotta make yourself wonder, like, is it the artist? Cause I don't, I don't know if Miley, writes her own music. I don't know if Britney writes her own music. Uh, Christina Aguilera, she hasn't really done anything. Well, she's done a couple raunchy ones, but, you know, she wasn't as bad as, like, Britney and, and freaking Miley are being right now. Like, they're, they're being, like, spoiled little brats. And it's kind of disturbing. Oh, for frig's sake. I'm gonna have to let Jules know that there's a huge lineup at the Hortons. It's supposed to be there in 11 minutes, 10 minutes. I'm not gonna pull that off. You got people ordering paninuses and things, and see, this is the reason why I don't like food being ordered in the drive-thru because unlike McDonald's, you know, the burgers are already ready. They'll make a, a stack of 20 burgers, 30 burgers, and they'll have them ready to go for, for a while. Oh, they got a new, that's what it is. They got a new freaking ordering board. Son of a bitch. Okay, let's get some coffees here. Uh, can I get an extra large two milk, three sugar? Is that everything? And a large uh, steep tea with three milk, three sugar, and a shot of caramel. In your steep tea? Yeah. That's everything? That's all. 405, come on, please. Okay. 405. Son of a bitch. Hoping this has enough room on it. Always got time for Tim Hortons. Oh, freak. 
I just, I don't understand these young pop stars. Like, even look at Justin Bieber. You know, he started off being a sweet and innocent kid. Next thing you know, he's like pissing in a mop bucket, telling Bill Clinton to frig off. Like, he's totally mouthing off to Bill Clinton. Like, what the frig did Bill ever do to him, you know? He's spitting on his audience from a balcony. What the hell, Bieber? Like, talk about committing friggin' fanfare suicide. But all of his fans are like, Oh, he didn't mean it. He was doing it as a thing, you know? I'd be honored to be spit on by Justin Bieber and things. Really? You'd be honored to be spit on by, by a friggin' guy who sings sings music? You're So who's more dicked here? The the friggin' hardcore fans or the, or the artist, right? Like, they may have to put a ban on child pop stars. Just saying, because they're turning out to be douchebags. That's a new sound coming out of the car. Huh. Oh my god, I hate when people order bagels. No frickin' bagels. Get your coffee and GTFO. I have no idea how much cash is left on this thing. Tim Horton's quick pay card. Go through drive through with fast and ease, unless people are ordering bagels. Ugh. Oh well. So yeah, I woke up at around noon, you know, had a shower and all that, and getting ready, getting ready to get my day started and things, and... I think my friggin' driver's side bearing needs some needs some exchanging or something. It's making a really weird squeaky sound. Uh -huh. oh. Hey, thanks. Oh, see you later. For the sakes. Got some shit in my cup holder, so I can't put my coffee in there. Alright, got the coffees and we got four minutes to make it to Jules' work. Are we gonna be on time? No. Gonna be a bit late. Just left the Hortons now. Gotta love voice to text. Go, go, Android for doing it right. Oh, for freak's sakes, now she's starting to piss. Great. Oh, it's gonna be rainy like this all week, apparently. Well, college started back up today. All the kidlets gotta go to college. Starting their orientation week this week. Yup, next Tuesday, back to school. That's when the yellow banana bus will be back on the road, people. That's when I gotta start, uh, well, I can leave at the same time. I only encounter them every once in a while. When school starts in a week for the kids, college has already begun. It's just the way she goes. Holy shit, people. Can you take a corner any slower? Yeah, this car still needs some work done to it. Freak's sakes. Let's go get Jules, and then we'll go to the reservation, get Sagrets, and then we will come back and I don't know what the hell we're gonna do today. Oh yeah, I wanna get the air filter for the car. Even if I don't install it today, I wanna get that. Yeah, I have no idea what to talk about right now. I played a lot of Prisoner's Architect last night. I'm gonna do a prison playthrough on that one because uh, that's a fun game. It's like Sim City, but you build a prison and you gotta maintain it. And it's still an alpha release, so there's a lot of bugs yet. For some reason, shower drains do not work. Because every time the inmates go to have a shower, they flood out. So, yep, gotta love that kind. Oh, well. So we'll go pick up, like I said, we're gonna get cigarettes, and then I'm gonna go to Crappy and look for that Fram air filter. Get that done. And we'll see if that makes a difference in this bucket. Honestly, I was thinking for going to Blokes, I was tempted to take the Trans Am. Even though a lot of people are like, dude, the Trans Am, like, you might not make it in things. And other people are like, dude, you should have no problem. Just get the oil changed before you go, and it'll be cheaper on gas than this thing, that's for sure. It saved me a couple bucks. The only thing is, is this one here has cruise control. Trans Am doesn't anymore because I disabled it. Mainly because uh, the one on the Trans Am was dicking around a lot. Like, a lot. Yay! I finally got out of the rain biome. Oh my god, I'm so freaking tired today. Even though I went to bed last night at like four in the morning and I was up at noon, that's eight hours of, of sleep. And the moment my head hit the pillow, I was out like a light. It doesn't make a lick of sense. Ow. Carry on, carry on, forever carry on. Anyway, I'm almost at Jules' office, so I'll talk to you guys later. Peace the frig out. Alrighty, people, I'm here with Jules. Hi. And uh, we just got our cigarettes, and they have beef jerky in there. You get this, like, oh, come on, uh, check this beast out. It's the size of her face. It is the size of my face. It is. <laughs> For three bucks, you get that big slab of jerky. Mm. That's pretty awesome. I do say so myself. I like my meat. She does. <laughs> I had to say it. Okay, well we gotta bring her back. She's gonna go back to the office and uh, we're gonna go to Crappy Tire and get an air filter for this thing, but seeing how she's pissing rain out today, we're not gonna change it out today. We're gonna have to do that on a sunnier day. Yeah. Son of a bitch. What can you do? When you live in a shoe, you get ahead and move to a hat. Skeetle the douche. <laughs>
Alrighty guys, just dropped off Jules. I'm gonna head over to Canadian son of a bitch and we're gonna go get that filter. It's pissing right now like a son of a whore too. Freak sakes. Alrighty, well I'm down here at Canadian Tires, so I'm gonna run inside, grab what I need, and get the frig out. So let's rock and roll a little bit. Alrighty, I got the Fram filter. I bought some uh, 12 pack of Mr. Noodles. They're on sale for two bucks for 12, so and I like that kind. So I bought that, and uh, let's go home. Alrighty, people. Well, I'm home now. I also bought a big slab of beef jerky, like Jules did, because well, frig, I love beef jerky, and that's a damn good deal. Also, here's that box of Mr. Noodles. You know, you got friggin' 12 of them for three bucks, two bucks, something like that, I can't remember. I'm gonna sit that over here. And last but not least, this is the air filter I bought. This is the only the only options they had there, because everything else was sold out, was this, the Fram Extra Guard, or, or another K&N filter. This thing cost me 30, uh, 13 bucks. So, increased horsepower, yeah, whatever. Increased acceleration, oh! Increased horsepower and, ex and acceleration. What are they basing that logic off of? Whatever. Five minute easy install. If mine didn't have screws, it would be an easy install. But uh, mine's not as easy as they make it look on this. See, the G6 has screws. And not just like Phillips or Robinson's or Flatheads. No, no, no. They use Torx to make it more complex, you know? They'll give you a little bit more to work for. I think I have the driver in the garage still for it. If not, I got a couple Torx heads that go on those uh, universal screwdrivers. And if I have to, I'll go that route and we'll get her done. Right now though, I got uh, some, oh my God, my dog is going nuts trying to get my jerky. But uh, right now I got some Prisoner Architect to uh, render up and to make it do a movie. So I'm gonna get cracking on that. I got an hour and a half before I gotta go to work, son of a bitch. So let's uh, put her powder and have at her. All right, guys, I'm going to leave a little earlier today, head off to work a little earlier because I want to go to the dollar store in the mall and see if I can find those cell phone holders. Also, I hung my poster, uh, my whiteboard. you going to focus? He's sonying on me. There we go. So I hung my whiteboard there on the wall, and um, the stupid marker comes with. Already dried up. No good. Garbage. Freaking crap. So that's kind of annoying. How's this thing doing? Is it done rendering my next episode of, of friggin', uh, friggin'... Prison Architect? Yes it is. I'm going to fire off another episode here and we're going to head off to the mall. First thing we got to do is get some gasoline for the car because, uh, yeah, she's sitting at a quart. I want to fill her up. Alrighty, well I'm down here at the mall. I didn't go to the gas station because for Frig 6 they had a giant friggin' transport block in the entrance. And for me to get in I would have had to go on the friggin' main road and then turn in and it would have been a pain in the ass. Like I said, I got a quarter of a tank left. That should last me a while. But I'm going to fill up tonight at the Max Mart by, by work, and then that way there I can actually get some gas in the car and it's a little cheaper too. So, frig sakes, whatevs, let's go to the dollar store and get some shit. Yeah, buddy. Alrighty, people, it's 3.30. Went to the dollar store. I wanted to try out uh, these bulbs. They're, I don't know, they're three bucks and uh, 800 lumens, 6700K. So it should be a bright white, hopefully. But uh, I got my tripod holder thingy. I just don't know which bag it's in. I'm trying to find, there it is. So this is the thing. So basically you got your phone holder there. Then you got the suction cup on the bottom here. And then you got the arm that you can control. Well, Krusty showed me that it's easy to convert this into one of these. So we're gonna do that tonight probably on a separate tech video, a little how to make your own little DIY for five bucks friggin' hanger from your car from the dollar store. I also bought a bunch of stuff for Jules's kids and stuff, but uh, that'll be shown later on. Then I got myself some cups of noodles for tonight at work. So without further ado, let's pit her powder and have at her and head her off to work. Let's go. Oh, before I do anything, I need to crack a window. She's freaking hot out, son of a bitch. Holy. I'm in the dollar store and I'm just sweating buckets, eh? Like, just sweating like a son of a goof. I'm not bringing all this shit into work. So I'll take all the stuff out for her kids and put it into this bag, along with my phone holder, which will soon be a camera mount. So what do we have left in this bag? This bag has a cup of noodles. Perfect. And the other bag goes home with me. Right on. I need a cigarette, and then we gotta get off to work. All right, let's go. Got taken out by a Logie van. That's what I call those now when I see those Chevy vans. I call them Logie vans. So if he ever gets rid of that van, I can't call it a Logie van anymore. I just gotta call it what it, what it actually is. Oh, this douche. 
walking around with freaking headphones on. This lady just like totally walking in the middle of the road, completely like stupid and stuff. Freak sakes. I don't know why, but for some reason they hire the derpiest people at Dollaramas to work the cash. Just herp derps. Like I'm sitting there and I'm waiting to freaking pay for my shit and Buddy's up there and he's like scanning, he's like beep and then he's like all slow and stuff and then like beep and then he's all slow and stuff and there's another Logie van over there. So, yeah, just hiring the freaking big time herpa derps. This lane. Like it was unbelievable how bad it was in there. Almost an upsetting, but whatevs. Let's get to work, get this shift over with, and then we got three days left. And by three days, I mean three three working shifts left. So, yeah, and then we're on vacation. I got some ideas for the Dynamark. Um, pretty sure the problem with the uh, tensioner isn't with the tensioner, it's with the spring. So if I replace the spring or add another spring for more tension, it'll solve my problem in that uh, on that mower and then I should have no problems going because the belt is set up properly. I looked it up online um, on the Dynamark. Mind you, the, the one I referenced was a newer one like mine, my mower, not my goer. Friggin' Rex found another, uh, in Whitefish, he found another uh, mower with an 18 twin in it. This one has a deck, 100 bucks. Mind you, Whitefish is way the frig out past Sudbury. Not sure if I want to go that far to get another mower. That and I already got three, two that work, one that's, you know, needs a little bit of TLC and she'll be up there too. But uh, I'll just stick with what I got for now. I don't have as much room to dick around with. Oh, yep, 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 yep. Another day in paradise. Freaking rainier than frig. Freaking rainier than frig. Right now, thank God it's not raining, but God knows what it's going to do on my brakes. Doesn't really matter. I can't videotape at work, so it's gonna be. I'm gonna go into work, and then I guess I'll talk to you guys when I get out. Then we'll go home and dick around with shit. And uh, freak yeah, uh, Balrega yeah. But yeah, thanks to Krusty for giving me that idea. Why is there a detour? Are these signs just for funsies? Uh, I don't know. But yeah, Krusty gave me the idea for that mount, and he says it bounces around a bit. But, you know, I just want more mounts, and if I can pull this off and make it work good, then I might uh, build a bunch of them, because I still want to do 14 cameras in one car. You guys remember I was talking about that last year around this time? I have a whole bunch of cameras in the car, do a whole bunch of pictures and pictures. Go for a high-speed cruise or something. Could be pretty funny. You know, haha, -ha, funny, haha. -ha. Maybe, probably. Probably not. I don't know. Something I'm going to need to do on this car in the future is replace my fuel filter. At least that's not hard to do on this thing. It's actually pretty easy on this thing. It's right underneath the driver's side door. Oh, is that Bruce from head office? Yep. Freaking Bruce from head office just drives by. I think he's working tonight. Pretty sure. Holy frig. I hate when the elderly do two kilometers an hour. It's not even the elderly. Oh, she's pretty old. This Audi didn't even signal. All right. Let's find a place to stab this thing, head inside, and get this shift over with. Talk to you guys when I'm... What the frig is he going? Oh. All righty. Stab her right here. Beauty plan. Great big Ford Faiso in front of me, eh? Son of a bitch. That's a, a nice friggin' truck right there. All right, guys. Well, I guess I'll talk to you guys when I'm done uh, my shift. So until then, peace the frig out. All right, guys. It's friggin' midnight. Time to get the hell out of here. So let's fire up the car. And I don't think I'll be filming with this 
camera card anymore, this SD card keeps failing on me, so I'm going to have to dig around at home and find another SD card to use, because I'm pretty sure this one here is right fried, so typical friggin' $10 Duracell card, eh, they're shit. So, let's go home, I figure what we're going to do is we'll uh, grab gas at the Shell station by the house, because it's buck thirty-five across the street there, and it's buck thirty-four by the house, unless it went up, so let's pitter-patter and have at her and go see how much gas is there, let's do this. Okay, we got you guys in manual mode, kick open the lights. Yeah, our ex wanted to go for coffee tonight, but uh, I'm just not feeling coffee tonight. Had a real awkward sleep last night and just, I don't know, I just kind of want to go home tonight and chill out and just do my own thing, you know. But then I got acid reflux like a son of a bitch. So, drinking coffee when you have acid reflux is never a good idea. All it does is make you puke up bile. And that's like not the most attractive thing you can do in the world. So we'll boot scoot home. Well, we'll boot scoot to the Mike Smart by the house anyway, and go and score some gasoline, and then we'll head her home and take her easy. See what we can uh, do with this mount. So day one of four completed. Frig yeah. Also, I'll show you what I what I bought for for Jules' kids if they behave this week. If they don't, then forget it. They're not getting it. So they gotta behave. Otherwise, no surprise for them. Which won't be much of a surprise because they're gonna see what the hell it is. They really gotta finish paving this road. Ridiculous. Oh my god, the city bus and it's out of service. Look, you can tell. See, it's out of service. Okay, you probably couldn't tell. But uh, it's set out of service on the side. Looks like it's in service, you know, it's totally rolling around and shit. And, like, it looks like a bus. Could be wrong. Maybe it's not a bus. Well, tonight was um, a lot less um, hazardous or, or busy than I thought it would be. Like, figured we were going to have thunderstorms and stuff today because it started raining and all that. And usually when it storms, usually the call volumes increase because a lot more people are calling in because thunderstorms lead to power failures, which leads to lightning strikes, which leads to phones exploding, which leads to modems getting grenaded. Tonight was a quiet night. Like, it was it was okay when we came in, but we had four people on today. Holy like, shit, cop, you want the whole road? Like, why does this guy feel the need to speed? Oh, because he's the police, and that's what they do. They just rip snot around town and just, you know, carve up the roads and drive like assholes. I am totally doing, it's 50 kilometer zone here, and I'm doing at least 55 kilometers an hour. Like, I'm already excessively speeding. And he's just like, blowing my doors off, just giving her, you know. Yeah, I don't know what the point of that was. Cop pulls into the Mike's Mart and then drives off over onto freaking Chippewa. No reason for that. That was dicked. But, um, yeah, it was a pretty slow night for uh, a stormy day, you know. Figured it'd be a lot busier than it was, but, uh, you know, I was busy when we first walked in and then it slowed right down, so that's all right. There's four of us on, tomorrow there's three of us on. Wednesday there's three of us, and Thursday there's three of us, and then uh, Friday is just the two of them. Because I don't have to work on Friday, I don't have to work on Friday. Did I mention, uh, I don't have to work on Friday. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I was having this, uh, this program we use for CB radio, it's called Vox, and uh, my phone kept going off tonight, but nothing was showing up. And I was like, what the frig, man? It's a, in, the, uh, in, in the notification, and had the icon, and it's like, Crazy Boogie is trying to contact you. So I click on the notification, and there was like, no freaking sound clip or text or nothing. So if he was trying to contact me, I never got the notifications. I have no idea what the hell's going on with it. Oh, I really don't feel like getting gas tonight, but frig it. No, my luck, I'll be like, now nah, let's get it in the morning. Then I'll wake up tomorrow, drive by the gas station, and it'll be a buck seventy-two a liter. And then I'll be like, son of a bitch, I'm gonna walk to work. <laughs> yeah, right. I'm gonna walk to work. Exercise? Screw that noise. I'm messing with my chi, bitches. Whatever that means. Oh, let's go load up the tank. And then uh, we'll head her home and check out what the uh, what I got from the Dallas Star. The Dallas Star. Because like you Dizzy would say, that's hardcore at the Dallas Store. Alrighty.
crack one in here into the shell and see what kind of uh, gasoline we can get. Oh, we can get the kind that makes the car go forward. That's the kind that I like. Alright, stop her here. It's buck 34 here. It's buck 35 at work. That's dick. Alright, I'm gonna load up the tank. Talk to you guys in a bit. Peace out. I'll talk to you when I get home. Yeah. Alright guys, I'm home. Just gonna let Scruffy out for a shit. Let him do his thing, and then we'll take a look at some dollar store hauls. See what kind of uh, shite we have in the dollar store. Just waiting for Scruffy to come back. I have no idea where he went. Oh, he's over there. Hmm. But, um, oh, he's back. He's such a little peanut. But, um, yeah, let's go upstairs and I'll show you what I got for the, for the kids. For the kids. For the kids. Alrighty, guys, well, this is what I got for them. They're these little pin art things, you know. Now, I made a deal with M that if she was good all week and I didn't hear any complaints, that she can get one of these. Well, I'm up in the ante. If all three girls are good, then... I'll hook them up, you know? And I also bought these things. They're like rhinestone, well, here, glittering stickers. They like these for putting on like their notebooks and stuff and, you know, bedazzle their shit. That's, uh, that, that, that's pretty shiny right there. And I bought uh, those ones, those ones, and those ones. And then, like, we got the fishy one over here. Now, these things, what it is is, well, see that circle thing there? Well, literally, it's a pin, and you, well, right there. Shows you what, what you do with it. And you pin it into the right color, then you get this nice brilliant little shiny fish and this one here's some dolphins and this one here's a parrot and M really wanted the parrot so I made the deal with her but then when I saw how much they were I was like well I'm gonna buy three different ones and then you know I'll give the other two each one as well to play with and build and stuff and just be careful pins are sharp then I saw these things and I'm like that's pretty cool maybe they, they're going back to school in like a week maybe they can like I don't know decorate their notebooks or school bags or whatever or use them for whatever you want to use them for I don't know I just they're pretty cool looking because they're all like shiny shiny and then, like I said I bought myself uh, this this power vantage daylight bulb that's one of those swirly bulbs I don't know if it's any good it says it throws 800 lumens I'm gonna go stove it in my lamp that I have downstairs bendy lamp because I have one in there that's I got two 6700s and one freaking 2800 and it looks ridiculous. Allow me to demonstrate. So these two here are the 67s. This one here is the 27. As you can tell, she's not exactly white or for that matter firing at full power that one might be blowing so i'm gonna do myself a favor yank that bulb out and i'm gonna stab this new weird bulb in and just see if it's any brighter sorry it was 3000 k not 2700 i do apologize now this new bulb is a little different it's actually got a, a diffuser on it so i'll go ahead and stove that into the guy we'll see how if it's any brighter than these ones here it's uh 13 watts 120 volts 18 uh, 800 lumens do you have your lumen marker on you no 200 milliamps what are you 217 milliamps Ooh, more draw might be a little brighter just says 13 watts 120 volts 200 milliamps 3000 K doesn't see the lumens on it anyway eh? no oh put that down we'll stop this in all right people the moment of truth will it fire yes and it's actually not too bad it's not the Ah, oh, these must be 5,000s, eh? I, I can't tell. I, I, I can't tell. I, I really, really can't tell. Uh-oh. These are the kind of bulbs you should never use. They're globals. These are the kind of bulbs that burn down. Look at that. Look, look at the burn on it. Yeah, these are the kind of bulbs you should never use continuously because they're shit. Oh, well. It won't be used continuously. There was a certain brand of those uh, spirally bulbs that you really shouldn't use because they're notorious for catching fire. And the brand had global written on them. Now, I use... Well, what's in here? What are you guys? You guys are just regulars, eh? Regular condescent bulbs? I don't want to leave that on. Those bulbs burn out quick. You are a... Are you a global? You must be. You're all burnt underneath. Oh, you wouldn't do me the honor of burning down my house anyway. But, uh, yes, those global bulbs are notorious for, uh, cooking the shit out of houses. And, uh, there was a big write-up on Facebook about it. And, yeah, yeah. But the ones in that spiral lamp won't be used that often. They'll only be used if uh, I'm doing green screening. And I'll be moving that, that lamp. I'll be moving that lamp right over to here-ish. I'll probably, I'm gonna move these things out of the way. Thing about putting that lamp like right around here and using it to echo 
off of the uh, green screen. And then I was thinking about putting up another lamp over here or behind me or something, just to blast more light on the green screen and not on me. And then have uh, I have just a regular, well, I got this lamp right here that uh, I'm gonna use to echo more light off the back wall. The uh, regular one here, but I wanna buy some LED bulbs for it. And uh, yeah, throw as much light on the back wall as possible to eliminate shadows, then get one light to, uh, to hit me from, well, I wanna get two lights. One to hit me from either side and that way there, or even diffuse the light so it lights me up but it doesn't cause a shadow effect so it's not projecting the light it's just diffusing it and that way there, there should be no shadow you know maybe probably not we'll see but that's the battle plan there anyway people why did I open the fridge there's nothing in there I haven't done groceries yet for sakes I think I'm gonna shut the vlog down here and call her quits for tonight I'm really tired that's why I didn't go for coffee with Rex 4x4 because uh I'm not feeling good. So I'm going to call her quits, shut her down, edit this up, fire it up to the tubes, and go to bed. So if you like today's video, hit that like button. Questions, comments, concerns, down below. Anybody wondering? No, Gidget is not Jules' sister. Gidget is Jules' friend. Uh, not the sister, the friend. So there you go. The more you know. So like the video, comment down below, and until next time, people, keep on vlogging.